When a kid show becomes too popular, it becomes a subject to plenty of concerns from the parents. And because Peppa Pig is one of the most popular kid shows there is, it had to go through plenty of controversies you'd never see coming. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to The Things. Now let's check out the horrible truth about Peppa Pig, a banned episode. Say what? How can a kid show that's so loved have an inappropriate episode that was actually banned? Well, it turns out that Peppa Pig actually isn't loved everywhere around the world. There's a country that had to ban an episode. That country was Australia, and the reason was simple. It showed spiders. The episode's called Mr. Skinny Legs, and it talks about encouraging kids to play with spiders rather than hurt them. In the episode, Daddy Pig tells Peppa that she should be nice to the spider as the spider is so little, it can't really harm her. Peppa actually ends up befriending the spider and even giving it a name. The truth is, that's really not how it works in Australia. Playing with a spider just isn't as simple in Australia as it might be elsewhere, which is why this particular episode had to be banned. Spiders in Australia are a lot more dangerous than spiders from anywhere else. This was one of the show's most controversial moments because even though the show itself was pulled off the air in Australia, the episode was actually still available on the online publication. A few years ago, the episode became available again. But because the parents complained about the possibility of their kids playing with Australian spiders, Nick Jr. decided it would be safer to just pull the episode and avoid any controversies repeating themselves. But those aren't the only controversies the show has faced during its time on air so far, slammed by British doctors. Here's an interesting controversy. The British Medical Journal criticized Peppa Pig for something you'd never even expect anyone to criticize a show about. Well, to be fair, you probably never expected British healthcare to criticize one of the most beloved British shows, and yet here we are. Peppa Pig has been criticized by the British Medical Journal for fostering unrealistic expectations of family doctors and the general medical practice. The journal presented three cases of the show's inappropriate conduct when it came to medicine. When Peba's brother had a rash on his face, the family called a doctor, who then prescribed her medicine. But the actual doctor says that this could just encourage people to visit their doctors more than necessary, as rashes like that go away on their own. In another instance, the family doctor comes after the piglet suffers from regular cold symptoms. The doctor that wrote the journal highlights that British hospitals are under a lot of strain and are often overworked. Hospital waiting times are always soaring in the UK, and the doctor thinks that unnecessary scenes like that can make people think they're experiencing something they absolutely need a doctor for, when in fact, it's something that would easily go away on its own. Of course, you should always visit a doctor if you think your condition is developing into something serious, but in general, it's always recommended to treat things like colds and rashes with just regular antibiotics. Still not convinced? It gets better. Fat shaming. This is the one the parents have a serious problem with. Essays have been written on the fat shaming topics in Peppa Pig. The character that's usually the victim of these jokes is their dad. Since Peppa's family are, well, pigs, they're naturally a bit more chunky. But fitting into the stereotype, the dad is obviously chunkier than anyone else. The show has a running gag of Peppa and the rest of the family casually joking about their dad's big belly. A parent heavily criticized the episode where the family tries to go into the treehouse. Peppa set up a password, and of course the password is Daddy's Big Tummy. After the dad tries to climb in but can't, everyone laughs at him and Peppa repeats that his tummy is just too big. There's even an episode where the dad tries to get fit, but here comes Peppa telling him that his tummy's too big to be naturally fit. These jokes just keep on going and going, and it apparently doesn't sit well with the parents whose kids are repeating Peppa's words. You can find a fat shaming joke in just about every episode. Pointing out that someone has a big tummy just isn't okay in the real world and could lead to terrible consequences. Do you think Peppa Pig takes it too far with the fat shaming jokes? Let us know in the comments. Health and safety issues. What's the number one rule for being safe in a car? If you answered wearing a seatbelt, you get a thousand points. And guess which show doesn't get a thousand points? If you answered Peppa Pig, you get another thousand. That's right. If you watched the earlier episodes of Peppa Pig, you'll notice that Peppa and George never wear their seatbelts in the car. Seems pretty dangerous, right? This instance caught the attention of the viewers who quickly informed Nick Jr. and told them what they think. This 
force the Peppa Pig characters to put on their seatbelts whenever they drive around. And in case you didn't think this was a big deal, millions of kids watch Peppa. And since the show is supposed to be educational, it should really teach good things and good manners to the kids, shouldn't it? We're glad the characters put on their seatbelts to show the actual kids what they're supposed to do in the car. One of the reasons why the characters weren't initially buckled up is because, according to the producers, it limits the chances to show more of their expressions as they're driving. But another producer stated that buckling them up is a good idea because everything Peppa does reflects what a child does in the real world anyway. And while they're all buckled up in the car, Peppa still doesn't wear a helmet when she's driving, although she does have a life jacket for any time she's in a boat. Have you seen Peppa Pig? What do you think about these controversies that are surrounding one of the most popular British shows ever? Make sure to let us know in the comments. And that's all for our video. Don't forget to subscribe to The Things. Thanks for watching. See you next time.